What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, that's Mike, and this is The Walking Dead, a show that we do. Q and A. I mean, yeah, we don't I mean we don't do it. You know, I mean we, we talk well, about I mean we other people who've done it. That's true. They've they've done the show and we're talking about them doing the show. Doing the show, exactly. Anyway, what's exactly. up, man? Uh, another Q and A video for the Walking Dead season ten, episode twelve. That is a walk in, walk with us. That's right. What you just said was correct. All the what things, did I say? All what the things you said. Yeah, it was good stuff. Okay, uh, here we go. So here's the thing. Yeah. Hey. Q and A. Hey man. Hey man. Hey. Before Q we get a. to the questions we received for this episode, can you? Uh, we had some polls. We put out some polls on uh, YouTube's. And on the uh, we have some answers, yeah. Mikey. What were the polls and what were the yes. answers? So Chris and I posted one uh, poll before and then after the episode. These are true statements. So we'll go with the first before the episode was aired. And will Alpha bite it tonight? Uh, 80% said hell yes. Good. And 20% said, I don't think so. Uh, see, I was one of those 80 as well. I was in, I was included in that percentile because I also yeah. believe, hell yes, she would bite the big and she, boner. I mean, yeah, she bit something. And that we had a lot of a lot of votes for that. So that was fun, and I'm glad well we're done. doing these. Well done, everybody. So now, yes, after the episode, we posted another, and that was, what, was your, what were your thoughts after watching episode 12, Walk With Us? Uh, 86% said one of the best. Whoa. One of Ooh. thine best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris is just, he's going crazy. And um, we had hated it 0%. Hated it. That one. Or did not hate it. Good stuff. Uh, hated it. And so so, 14%. Said so, so so. Okay, okay. So those were the two poll questions. Thank you all for who participated. Yeah, thank you. We that, appreciate that. Keep them, keep them coming. The answers I'm yes. saying. Um. Yeah. So did okay. So I I found it. I actually liked it. I actually liked the episode. I thought it was uh, one of the yeah. better ones. I'm going to agree with the poll. Uh, the poll question there. The 86 percent that say it was one of my favorite, one of the best episodes that I've. Um, I mean, I've seen I a wouldn't long time. go that far. In a ah, long time, not long even time. just not even just this season, just in 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 a while. I'm like from in a other... while, yeah. My favorite part, I'll tell you right off the bat, Frowny yeah. McTwo knives. <laughs> What's that? Who's that? What? Frowny McTwo knives. Oh yeah, yeah. I love when he called yeah. him that. That was that was great. Yeah, there was that a lot was of great, great conversations with characters that we didn't know. We haven't really seen each other. That is something I want to talk about a little later. Just like you know, yeah. so we're gonna let's, do our questions. We'll answer yeah. some questions that you guys had for us from the Facebook group, from YouTube. Um, yeah. yeah. So we'll answer those, and then we'll just round it out with the with what we thought of the, like a of couple, the episode. Some of our thoughts. We've got yes. a couple of thoughts. Yeah. All right. So All Mikey, right, uh, first question we got from YouTube, right? From uh, John Blaze from YouTube. What do you, What do you have to say about John this? John asked, uh, "What did you think of Negan killing Alpha and not Carol?" I mean, there was a big buildup. I, I think a lot of people watching the series really expected Carol to be the one uh, from just by the way she's been acting and how just vengeful she's been and how she's been putting the group in in danger going after Alpha. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of people thought that, but obviously that wasn't the question. So what do you think of Negan taking care of business? Well, and spoiler obviously alert. Obviously they were in cahoots. Spoiler you know? alert. Carol did kill Alpha. She let Negan out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. In a she, way, yes. She set. See, she set Negan free on. Well, she she set him on her, and yeah. you know. So so you know. The interesting thing is in the comic, he goes out and does it on his own, right? Yeah. He wasn't working with anybody. He just did it, right? And then he brings the head back to Alexandria. Spoiler alert for the comic, but it's already out there now. Um, and gives the head to Rick, and then you know they let him in. So it's like. I was I was pleasantly surprised. I thought that was a very cool thing. I mean, that's one of the reasons yeah. why I like the episode. I thought that was a very cool that you know do things like that. You know, um, mm -hmm. yeah. I and mean, the anticipation up to that whole thing, like the whole Negan and, and Alpha walking. Okay, to the, well, I have a thought about shack. that. That's yeah. All right. That was all right. We'll we'll wait. We'll wait with that instead of. Well, uh, I mean, oh. no, look. Since no, let's talk about it now because we're we're, yeah. we're talking about the scene. I I thought that was a little ham. That was a little ham fisted. They. Like they they used the okay so they used that particular uh, trope or that that device of oh it's gonna go to the shack it's, and he, she's gonna she's gonna get out of the shack and then all of a sudden like like they didn't 
he never had to have, first of all, why did he even take her? There was no reason for her, for him to even take her. So I have a little bit of an issue with that. Only like, it's like, okay, he didn't even, he really didn't need her. He could have just lied to her. He never showed her any proof. Never showed, Negan never showed Alpha any proof that he had Lydia. He lied. And then, and then just, so yeah, he didn't have to actually take her in higher up into a different shack. That was not needed. It was only for us. It was specifically for the viewers to get that attention. Now, good scene, good stuff. It was, you know, but I don't know, for some reason I was like, Hey, wait a minute. That didn't even have to happen. But hey, it, it was what it was. No, but it's it, it, the build up for that. Of course. Was like, oh well, my it was, God. It was I, good. It you know, me yeah. by surprise. I didn't think that yeah. she was in another. You know, oh, I knew it, dude. I, I knew it that. right, dude. I knew it right away. First of all, how many damn shacks are there? Are, are there out there? <laughs> like, there's so many shacks, well, that's dude. That's what I'm saying. There was obviously multiple ones. So, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I it's like really who's building, think... dude? Who's building these shacks? Are, are they hunting shacks? Are they like, like who? Why are they? Why are there yeah, so many right. damn shacks out there in the wilderness? You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. I mean, but yeah, I, I mean, agree. I yeah. So I, I um, yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed it. I thought you know I liked that twist. Um, you know, I like that we finally got, you know, she's, you know, off with her head and then that she, he, he brought it to Carol and, and she yeah. just matter of factly says, you know, you know, you know, it's about time. It took your damn time. Yeah. You know? So that, that was, was great. Like, that was like my favorite part of that whole scene. Uh, you know, that was my second favorite line it. as opposed to um, yeah. next to Frank. Yeah, no, it was, nice. it was great. So I'm going to, you know, I, I really did enjoy, um, Negan doing, doing the deed and, and yeah, okay. Carol, by Carol being involved, it, it was just a bonus. We'll find out next, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not next episode. Well, yeah. it looks like it might be Michonne-esque. Yeah, it looks like we get a Michonne. Emo- what? Yeah, a Michonne Let's episode. Let's talk about that. I want to talk about that at the end, maybe. We'll just, like, as we wrap yeah, up. Yeah, because it's supposedly next, her last episode for the week, show. Yeah. You want me to go right into two, or you want to? Uh, let's, uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? There, there was another question, right, by um, from Amy D. Do you think Negan will rejoin Alexandria? Uh, did he redeem himself? Yeah. Did, right. Did he redeem uh, himself? What do you think? I think there, I think there's going to be a lot of people that are still going to be up in arms about Negan coming back. Uh, but since you have such a strong person like Carol that was in cahoots with him, I think she'll be here. You know, the 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 deciding vote she'll champion him. Yeah. Really, the one that says, "Listen, we did this together." Um, Negan was already out. Remember, Negan was already out. He was doing farming jobs and this and that so he was amongst the group uh so now yes i do think that um you know he redeemed himself a bit and he'll he'll join the group with carol's um approval you know yeah i i i I agree not only because carol's gonna essentially vouch for him and be like this was our plan the whole time i assume um but also the fact that he killed alpha like he took her damn head like he just ended the war or yeah well I mean, we don't well, know. We don't know how they're how it's going to play out. But taking take Al- taking Alpha out mm-hmm. is absolutely like a move that kind of needed to be done. So yeah, yeah I, I yeah. think I think he'll come back. Um, I think they'll allow him back. I think um, mm-hmm. you know uh, what's his name uh, Gabriel and Rosita and, and Aaron. You know, don't forget Aaron. <sighs> you know, he saw Aaron. He saw Aaron. I don't think it's a question of his loyalty i always assumed he was you know i mean having read the comic i knew what was going to happen of course they're going to do that in the show why wouldn't they um yeah. i you know i you know and then he says aaron he's like all right look he's like calm down just hold on a second just you know just hold on you know like just wait a minute you know like i thought that was a really interesting scene mm-hmm. uh you know that was you know so i don't know i mean we'll see we'll see where he goes and yeah you know, but yeah i agree i think i think he's i think they'll they'll invite him back in yeah yep yep Next. All right, Next. where are we going? What do you got, Judith? Um, all right, so let's go into the Judy, yeah, the Judith stuff, which was which was great, um, yep. and a character that kind of um, kind of proved himself on his way out with with some good scenes. Earl. Earl. Um, mm-hmm. So we have a question from Emily and uh, from the from Facebook, and she says, I "Just about cried when Earl died. Judith was great, super emotional scene. How did you guys feel about the scene with Earl and the children in the um, in another?" shed shack kind of dilapidated shack. That's what I'm saying. There's so yeah. many shacks. So yeah. many shacks. They might have built these shacks. Uh I um yeah, I I I did. I enjoyed Earl in the last episode and he gave that little tiny speech, you know, yeah. saying, let's go get our shit back and then, you know, defend our shit. And then, you know, he ends up kicking the kids. Zeke's knocked out. Daryl's 
Daryl's God knows where, right? He's defending himself, swinging like a champ, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, he, he got the kids out. Um, he got Jerry's kids out and everything. <laughs> Jerry's kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 80s reference for you there, kiddos. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. I, I um, you know, when when they show him again in the next morning and you, he, I was like, oh, he got bit. He looks so horrible. Yeah. And you oh, look, he was, oh, yeah, he looked horrible when he was. And then he sets up that spike out. and like, yeah, yeah. and then you know, very it's emotional. Still messed up. Yeah. So obviously the, 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 you know, the thing is, is earlier we saw that she couldn't kill. I mean, she actually did though. You know what I mean? She did kill. She just couldn't um, finish them off. She, did, she couldn't finish him off. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, but didn't she attack humans previously when they, she attacked? never, she never only Walker. She did. Them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, well, that actually mean, goes into our question from Kenny, who says, "How do you think Judith's going to deal with her for her first human kill?" Well, I, I, well, first of all, let me. What did you think? What did you think about it? How did you feel about it? Uh, you know, I think I don't think that the the show is going to really drag too much on on this. I think there will be some effects of from this. I mean, listen, we saw we saw after the whole Earl thing, she had to finish Earl off because the spike didn't obviously work too well. Right. And you saw her sitting there, and Daryl came in and kind of consoled her and stuff. So I think she has a lot of adults around her that's that that'll help her in, in um, to try to um, get through any kind of issues she has with with killing um, that that whisperer. But I don't think it's going to be some kind of dragged off thing or. Or Judas going to act up, or I don't necessarily think it's going to be some big new plot for her character. No, I no, it's it it happened. Yeah, Daryl had a knife in his leg. It happened, right? Yeah. It's it's gonna yeah. it happened. It is what it is. Yeah. What do you and think? And she's Rick. She's Rick Grimes' kid. I mean, she you know like she's she's Michonne's daughter. You know, so it's like she has parents that that are some of the strongest in this in the, in the survivors. Um, I think she knows what's. I mean, she's a smart kid, so I'm not thinking she's gonna go too crazy into no it's, psychoanalysis. She's gonna, but it's gonna make her who she is. It's gonna, you know. Yeah. Talk. Yeah, let's, she knows. She knows what world she lives in. Yeah. So. Let Let's talk about the correlation between uh, when Carl mm. made his first kill when he killed that kid. Uh, uh, with the, yeah, it was much different. Yeah, he. You know. Yeah, he flat out murdered that dude. He just killed that kid. Yeah, the kid like he um, killed, the kid was scared shit. Yeah, and Carl just popped him. Yeah, and then you know, and then Judith obviously did it to save her friend. He, you know, to keep her friend. And she from didn't know a that it was a person. You know, it, to her it was a walker. You know, well, so no, I meant the... I meant I meant okay, yeah. Well, the the yeah, the that kill is one thing, and then and then having to finish off Earl. Well, he was already a walker. So yeah. I guess She's at that time. That. Oh, that's true. She was he was already one. Yeah, I guess yeah. But that yeah, but that first kill, right? She, she couldn't do it, and he was like, he just did it out of cold blood, Carl. So yeah, that's when Herschel was like, he killed that boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Huh? Yeah. He murdered that boy. He murdered that boy. I was there. No, he said he drew his gun. No, I, he murdered that boy. Uh, all right, so yes. Um, I think I have one more on my end here. Yeah. Uh, you cool with that? I'll read this next one. Uh, this do last it. One. All right. Uh, will we ever see dog? Question mark. Um, and do you think Connie is okay? Question mark. And that's from Sam from the Facebook group. Okay. So real quick for dog. Yeah, mm. we'll probably see dog again. He's kind of doing like what Ghost did. Just like disappears for a world, while. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it goes from Game of Thrones. If if you didn't catch that, oh, people they right? know they know who that is. They know. Uh, yeah, I think we'll see him again, right? You'll see him yeah. again. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm thinking that he might be the one that I you know goat dog is going to end up coming to goat to dog. Alexandria or something with Connie on his back. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's so you think you think she found? Oh, because she knows Connie. Dog yeah, likes Connie. She knows, yeah, dog likes Connie. So, yeah. um, or even if Connie's injured, you know how they have like those makeshift like stretchers that yeah, they're right. like dragging the injured. So dog will have the rope <laughs> in his mouth. All right, and um, roll up to Alexandria with Connie on. The, okay, uh, so let's talk about that real quick. So yeah, Magda's alive. We see Magnus show up, yeah, and um, you know, and she has it out a little bit, you know, uh, with Kumiko and. 
they basically break up, but she, you know, during the conversation says, hey, you know, we were holding hands and then our hands just slipped apart and, you know, I don't know what happened yeah. to her. Um, yeah. So, you know, I think, I think Connie is alive. Uh, oh, definitely. And I think she's going to end up coming back when uh, we see Kelly is on her deathbed because she's dying because she fucking got bit on the neck. She had that okay. thing on her neck. No, I'm kidding. I'm 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 kind of half kidding. We don't know. She obviously she got hurt, right? We don't know what it yeah. is. Um, but no, I was just like I'm just messing around. She's probably not bit. If she was bit, she'd be down be already. So it's fine. But yeah, so she'll show up. Yeah, I think she's definitely gonna show up. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I have no other <laughs> that's thoughts. that. End of thought. Yeah. <laughs> End of thoughts. All right, so. Uh, we did get a couple other uh, interesting questions. Uh, mm. Brady Mike on Facebook uh, had a really interesting question. This isn't related to this particular episode, but I wanted to talk about it because it's a fun, and I think it's a fun thing. Uh, he asked, you know, why do all the whispers have masks that have long hair? Uh, didn't anyone die with like a like a short, trendy haircut, right? Like a buzz cut or something, yeah. Right, you know what I mean? Like why, you know, why all, all the masks they have look exactly the same? And that that, you know... I never put my finger on it. Something always irked me about the the whisperers, and obviously it's done for, from a production standpoint. Probably, you know, practically to make them all make them all the same, but also it keeps them. You can pick them out easier, I think, in the in the horde for the viewers. So obviously, but yeah, but you know, if we're if we're if we're talking like real talk about it, like yeah, why wouldn't there be different things? Do they do they put the hair in themselves so they can tell each other apart? Things like that. You know, there may be a, a reason a legit reason that alpha has them made like that. But also as far as that's concerned, like what about like how every Walker in the horde looks like they've been dead for like 30 plus years. Right. Yeah. So Mike's like, you know, how come there aren't any like random fresh, you know, fresh kills mingled in. And I have to agree with that because it's like, especially since alpha is like always adding to the herd. She's how many of her own has she killed since we've seen her? She's killed like at least five people. Mm. right in cold blood and added them to the to her horde like yeah i agree like right what do you think like how come we're not do they all look like they're old decrepit pieces of crap <laughs> yeah you know f f honestly i i did i kind of did notice that like a lot of the walkers looked very similar like the decaying process like they were all kind of there for the same amount of time right the first part though like with the hair the yeah. hair situation is you got to remember too that when um, when a person dies, their hair and their nails and stuff grow for years. So, um, I mean, could 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 the hair of a walker that's recently dead with short hair continuously grow hair if they're around for a long enough time? You that's know, it could point. be. It could be something like that. I'm not gonna go into all that. I don't. You're not gonna go know. into the science yeah. of it, Mike. I just right? think that I just think that it just looks kind of cool. Um, for for the Walker masks, uh, for the Whisperer masks to kind of have longer hair like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, for the second part of the question, where why aren't there like more fresher Fresh looking kills, Walkers? Yeah. I don't necessarily know. I mean, we, remember we Alpha has there were thousands of Walkers in this horde, so she wasn't necessarily unleashing all of them until recently when she's been having these issues with our our survivors. So. I mean, they're, they're just the same group of walkers just sitting in one spot. So yeah, it's, right, it isn't yeah. really necessarily anybody new adding to it. Um, and again, only until she, they've been losing so many because our guys have been killing them. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm not necessarily um, going going to go harp on that. But um, yeah, I just think it's because she had so many and they've just been being corralled for so long that there may not be any reason for us to see many fresh ones yeah yeah again no, just, it's a tv show they do what they want yeah uh, i just think i mean it just looks cool they just look cool. yeah like i, I mean, said yeah i think yeah. tarot wants to put as much makeup on you as possible he doesn't want you to just have some blood on your face and i mean we did see look at earl you know you have earl you, you, you have a fresh, you have gamma. A fresh walker, so this there's a big transition between oh, someone that's obviously just just changed to some of the walkers in yeah, alpha yeah. yeah they you know they yeah i mean like i was just saying like gamma 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 bites it this episode as well yeah that was great um yeah, was, you know i thought that was an interesting scene he literally like guts her you yeah. know, and he's like, that's the whole title of this episode. Walk with us. It's that's mm -hmm. it's in reference to Gamma 
and him making her, you know, yeah, and Lydia part too, of the really. horde. You know, um, and then uh, what? What's that kid's name? Alden. What's the kid's Alden? name? Yeah. Right? Is it Alden? Alden with the baby. Yeah, you know, like that yeah. was a, that was an interesting scene where she quiets the baby down and whatnot, and yeah, you know, uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, you know, Gamma. I mean. She got to hold her nephew for a little while and yeah. take care of him for a bit before. I mean, she that's a whole. It. I mean, I, I don't and know she how she saved herself for, for them. Yeah. Did you do you care about her? Did you care about her story about Gamma? Were you into that at I'm all? Not terribly. Cra- I mean, I, I I mean, I thought she did a, a good job, and I thought that um, there were some really nice scenes in this episode with her yeah. and how she was fighting off um, Beta and ripping his mask, and that gives us, you know, that this this new big explosion of who Beta's true identity was. So she was in a real major um, scene, and I think she went out, you know, I think she went out uh, the right way. She, by she saving got her, her family, yeah. by saving these people, proving to these Alexandrians that she changed changed over, and she was able to save her family. Save her family, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, and then and then so he uh, he ends it for her without her having to be continue to you know to be part of the horde. I saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was. I think that was a fitting end. I mean, I want. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. You know, she not for nothing, but she was. She was a piece of shit. She killed her sister. Uh, she was yeah. making up for it. That was her penance, and she she always had to die in my eyes. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that was pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, as far as uh, I mean, yeah, you want to talk about it? Obviously, there's this thing. Uh, you know, spoilers if you don't want to know, but you know, whatever. There's a there's a an article up in in the Facebook group as well. Uh, that posted li- earlier today, but so yeah, it, beta obvious beta yeah beta. <sighs> what I thought I said gamma. Beta is uh is a is a was a was a known singer, apparently yeah. a country singer, and yeah. this comes to us from sister show Fear the Walking Dead, right? Yeah, I don't remember exactly when we saw it. I think it had to do something with Salazar because remember he had all the record collections and right. stuff, so there must have been a scene. With him, I don't necessarily know if it was the most recent season or from a couple seasons ago, or whatever. Now, but yeah, there was an image, and like Chris said, if you go, I mean, I'm sure if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into, you already theory, know, but if you didn't spoiler, know, you, you want know, to but, see it, it's on there. Yeah, yeah check out the, the our third person, uh, the Walking Dead Facebook group. We posted that up there, and it's just there's like a, a slew of records on the floor, and and that's obviously Beta, um, on the cover of it says one country of his singer, albums. and it shows a cover. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so so basically, Which is cool. and, and the guy Which says, is... "Oh, I thought I recognized the voice," and uh, and then yeah. and he kills him. So yeah, um, and I believe in the comic he was like a famous basketball, basketball player, player yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So um, they did a little bit something different, but it was cool because there was obviously an Easter egg in fear that you know connecting the worlds, right? Yeah, people they, connect, connecting yeah, people, them up. People figured it. What, um, and I think there was, um, I think there was one of the. I think it was I don't remember if it was Jesus before he died or um Tara. One time there was a scene in Hilltop where one of them was like listening to music and some people are saying that the record that was playing was him. It was because country, it was, wasn't it country then? Yeah, it was yeah. it was a song that that um the actress who played uh oh shit. Um Maggie's sister, Beth. Yeah. She sings, she's obviously a she's, singer she's in real singer, life. Right, yeah. And she had covered a song and supposedly he was on it too, and I okay. think that was the song I was playing in in the hilltop. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Hey, you know they they you know they're connecting everything. Of course they're gonna do yeah. that. What and obviously there's think... a lot of smart fans that like break these episodes down, and they and the Walking Dead knows it's gonna come out eventually. Yeah, well they they well it's there for a reason. They wouldn't have put it yeah. in if they didn't want it out there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's for the hardcore. Tell me what you thought about Negan's story. They told about his wife Lucille because I thought. I thought that was a really good story. In fact, mm. I think he was, I mean, I may be giving him too much credit right now, but I think that he did that to be like, am I doing this right now? Is this how I'm going to do it? You know, like, is this, this is like the last time. Let me see what I could do with this woman. Tells that story about Lucille and then her being like, maybe well, he's giving, yeah, maybe he's giving her like an opportunity to, yeah. to, to change or like or he already knows, he, but he's like, let yeah. me just, try this one last thing maybe and then she basically shits all over his story mm-hmm. and he's like all right bitch goodbye 
Yeah, because he he wanted to see really if she was still after his his story, which was it was a fantastic scene. There was a lot of really great stuff in this in this episode with actors that we haven't seen work yes, together in a while. Yes, yes, like I wanted. Egan yeah, and, there was some really Alvin good stuff. Kind of stuff. So Carol, yeah, Eugene. Yeah, that was that was great too. So it was like I, I, like that with Carol and Eugene. She Carol tells, and- go after Stephanie if it's important. Go after her. But yeah, the the it, I think if, with Negan it was just like that one last ditch ditch effort to see if she would change her mind in killing Lydia. Right. And I don't necessarily know that even if she said yeah, I'll keep, no, I won't kill her. Like I don't know. I, I don't see. It's tough. I don't necessarily think that um, right. either way he wasn't gonna he would spare her. So I think he was going in there so, I, and was going to take her out. Yeah, dude. When he was behind her, I, I could have sworn he took his bat off his shoulder. I was hoping he was going to bash her in the head. I was oh, hoping yeah. was, I wanted that so bad. But, yeah. you know, I guess. Well, he had, yeah, he had Lucille 2.0. So I like that. I like that. You know, and left for nothing, I liked when he couldn't help himself. He yeah. was like, go get the walkers. He's like, damn it. He's like, you want me to herd these guys? And he's like, yeah. all right. And then he just ends up just bashing them. Like, he just can't yeah. help himself. Like, he just, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, he's kind of grown on me a little more. Oh, no. He's, he's been great. You I mean, know? listen, for you, from, from a character that you despise for what he did back in season seven or whatever it was, right? You know, and, he, and he's self-aware. That's the thing. Negan's self-aware. He knows he's a piece of shit. He knows he gets whatever he gets. He knows he deserves whatever he gets. But he still goes on because he's, he's, cause he said, I'm dead. I'm done. He's like, I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't um, care about dying. And... Yeah, so I look. I mean, that's all, that's all I really got for the rest of mm-hmm. this episode. You know, he, they find, obviously, Carol finds Henry's staff. You know, Lydia dropped it. You know, uh, you know, she gets decked by uh, Kumiko. Kumiko, uh, right? And um, yeah. you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a good episode. It was a good episode. Eugene's told, "Hey, yeah. go." She's like, "Go get your woman." She says to him, "So you know, I don't know, man. I like it. I thought it was pretty cool." Um, yeah, no, this was this was this was a great one again, and one of the best ones that I've. Um, seen in a while on the walking dead show yeah and i think it's only gonna pick up i mean listen we're, uh, this is this is michonne's next last episode episode 13 there's a lot of crazy theory videos that are out there about what what goes on at the air force base um you know that um uh, michonne's supposed to be getting the, these weapons to to help in the war yeah i think she'll still need them somehow well, because beta is going to be quite upset we still got a so huge she gonna horde. get right so she somehow if this is her last episode you know obviously it's gonna be focused on her it looks yeah. pretty cool it looks like she's got walkers again with her if you saw the coming mm-hmm. attraction she cut their yeah. arms and mouths off again and she's gonna walk with them it looks like so yeah. i don't know it looks interesting i i miss seeing michonne she's one of my favorites and she's one of the strongest on the show and yeah. you know i guess we'll see what happens with that um yeah before we bounce out of here we got one last question from robin from facebook um, this is a, this is a very important question and very apropos mm. to the, to our time right now. Okay. Uh, how come you never see survivors hoarding TP? How come they're not hoarding all that toilet paper? You ever think of that? Huh? Uh, you know, uh, that's that's true. We've seen water, you know, collections of big pallets of bottled yeah, we've water. We've seen and weapons. Stuff and... We've seen guns, but I have not seen. How come they don't talk about the toilet paper? About the you TP. I mean? I mean, I'm kind of confused about why people in in, in the real life are so um, obsessed with buying TP. Oy. So for me, I mean, maybe our maybe our uh, maybe we should take a little. Uh, take Let's a little not worry. Right. Let's not worry so much about from the TP the people. TV show, yeah, yeah you know? and and kind of take some uh, take a little bit of info from them and maybe yeah. realize that that's not necessarily the biggest necessity we need. I mean, listen, they're in the woods. There's a lot of leaves that you can use. There's you know? a lot of leaves as long as it's not poisonous. Yeah, go shit in a lake. There you, you go. Know? Shit in a lake, you'll be fine. You know. Yeah. <laughs> throw your throw your best friend in a latrine, you'll be fine. Not for nothing. Uh, nowadays, we're lucky our freaking group even takes baths and showers. They're on the run all the time. I know it's gross. Uh, they should be hoarding like underwear or at least boxer shorts or something. They right? Should be because making new underwear, bro. You know what I mean? That's true. Instead of making whisperer masks, maybe they can. Not um, for nothing, bro. Zombies like have underwear. clothing on them. Why don't you take those off, clean the clothing, use that for underwear? For undergarments. You can you clean them. That. Why can't you clean oh. them, right? Anyway. Oh, very true. That was um, very all right. True. So, look, that's going to do it. Uh, as, we're, mm. as we're wrapping it up here, uh, you know, in all seriousness, uh, things are kind of messed up in this world right now. Um, 
you know, everybody just be safe. Wash your hands, wash your face. Don't go out in big crowds, obviously. Stock up on your food if you have to, you know, use as little TP as you can. Use the folding method as yeah. opposed to the scrunch method. Don't buy all the rolls. Save some for somebody Save some, else. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, Stop just being listen. Greedy. Uh things right. things, you know, <laughs> at the at the recording of this episode, things are about to start and getting crazy in, in our country, in the US. Uh <laughs> wherever you are, if they're not already crazy, you know, just you know, we're you know, well, obviously, we'll probably keep doing this because we get we get to sit in our at our computers and do this. So, um, as long as the TV's working and and uh, we're watching The Walking Dead and Westworld and stuff, we'll be you know we'll be coming yeah. to you too. But, you know, uh, we want to say thank you to everyone who's given us uh, questions uh, every week so far, and um, you know, and use the Facebook the groups, group. filling in those groups, the Westworld group, yeah, like you said yeah. too. The Westworld group, a... you know, watch that. Yeah. Uh, very grateful to everyone in those groups. You know. Post, say hi, post funny memes, funny things um, over in the Westworld group. Uh, you know, uh, one of our um, group members posted a video of when they saw Rachel. Um, I keep wanting to say Rachel. Evan, Co- Evan, Rachel Evan, Evan Wood, Evan, uh, who yeah. plays Laura's main character, you know, in San Francisco in you know, performing, you know, with her uh, performing buddy there. So that was really cool. We love things like that. That's amazing. Any yeah. funny stuff you find posted. You guys know how to use Facebook. Anyway. Uh, so that's all I want to say. So That's all you want? You sure? Nothing else? Nah, man. You're up. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, write in the comments section below. Let us know what you thought of episode Rate, 12. Rate, comment, Walk with like us. the yes. video. We like it. And you know what? One thing that Chris and I never really do is ask any of the viewers to hit those alerts, hit those like buttons, hit the subscribe button. It helps. We really, but yeah, you know can... what? I mean, if we want to let the channel grow and we want to let these Facebook groups grow, we need you to tell your friends if you really truly enjoy us tell your friends to check us out i mean we don't like to be one of those channels that the first thing that pops up on the on the vid is if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe button click yeah. the alert button guys, we don't yeah we you know how to, to use youtube that. you know how to freaking use yeah. youtube you know we but try not to do that but we yeah. hope that you guys enjoy the content that we're putting out there in our conversations so yeah tell a friends and you know what hit those likes buttons hit those subscribe buttons and um we would really appreciate that absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. We're all over the social media outlet, third person, pod, third person. Again, thank you guys so much. Be safe out there, and uh, we'll get through this. Don't worry about that. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Bye. Peace.